Hey, it's Andy with Midmo Dents. Today we're gonna to be ceramic coating a Jeep Gladiator. We're gonna show you a little bit of the process that we did on this thing. Check it out. All right, we got the Jeep pulled in now that we can get a pretty good look at it before we start. This thing just had a little bit of dirt on it. Customer knew that the paint had a little bit of scratches and swirls in it because he did buy it used and know that it needed a little extra work um, before we ceramic coated it. So you can see right now just some normal grit and gravel that's on there. Tires kind of look a little dingy because somebody's dressed them and obviously they've got dirt that clung to them. I don't think anybody's cleaned on the inside of this bed yet before. So we're going to start by cleaning the engine first. While he's doing that, I'm going to start degreasing the tires. Use a nice brush to help agitate that old gunk that's on the tires. He's going to use a mild degreaser for all the bug guts and everything on the front of the grill and the bumper. And then we'll use that in the inner fenders and on the bottom parts of the door where most of the road film is going to be. We're going to go ahead and degrease the bed on it too just to help get some of that gunk out of there. And we're going to pressure wash the engine bay carefully. We're using a zero degree tip that spins on our pressure washer. Even though our pressure washer has low pressure, that tip will help agitate any kind of dirt that's on there. And it's not strong enough that it's ever gonna hurt the paint or anything like that. Works really good for cleaning the end of fenders. pressure wash inside the bed Now we're going to use our Griot's Garage Foam Cannon and Dirt Buster Soap. Now that we got it all foamed up, we'll go ahead and scrub the whole body down. Now that it's been all soaked up, we're going to go ahead and rinse this thing off and get all the soap off there. Now 
After we get all the soap off, we're going to go ahead and start clay barring this to remove any kind of contamination that's on top of the paint, whether it's brake dust, overspray, tree sap mist, anything like that. That alone will make the paint feel silky smooth and that will set us up for good success whenever we start polishing this as there's not going to be any kind of contamination that's going to get into our buffing pads, which that alone will help prevent swirls. Clay barring's done, now it's time to get it dried off. We'll start out by using a chamois. After we get it all chamoised off, then we'll go ahead and blow dry out the cracks and crevices just to make sure if there's any water behind there that that gets dried out now. We're going to inspect the paint with our paint correction light. There you can see the light swirls that it had in it that the customer wanted to remove before we coated it. Go ahead and get all the plastics masked off next so that way when we buff we don't get any buffing compound on those. Here we did a little test spot just to make sure we had the right pad and polish combo. That was with the Rupes yellow pad and Sonax 0406 polish. We'll have a couple more guys jump in so we can get this done. While we're waiting on them to finish the paint, we're going to go ahead and clean the wheels and put a tire coating on the tires. cracks one more time before we use our panel prep spray to prep all the paint, wheels, and windows. Now it's time to start ceramic coating.
All the paint, plastic, windows, wheels, and chrome have now been ceramic coated. Here's a final look. Hey, thanks for watching. If you got any questions about ceramic coating or any of the work that we do here, please let us know in the comments. As always, thank you and make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for the next one. Have a good one.